welcome to Flat Cap Euro Talks Weekend Review Show, the show where I look at all the scores of last weekend in Europe's top five leagues. So without further ado, let's crack into this one, lads. A lot of these games really do also feature the ones that I featured, you know, my uh, weekend watch list. So let's uh, let's crack into these ones with the league. Uh, we will start with maybe just get it out of the way, maybe for some people. Uh, but for league, uh, uh, definitely a very interesting weekend. They're already at match day three, if you didn't already know. Uh, so they're well into the season or well into the beginning of the season, you might say. Uh, PSG beating Brest four uh, two. I will say with uh, Brest, do remember they have uh, Roman Favre uh, from there. Uh, again, maybe Levy uh, Tuper, let me know if I pronounced that right. Ro- uh, Roman Favre is an unbelievable player. I absolutely love him. And then Lenz and Monaco, 2 uh, 0 there. You know, uh, the goalkeeper from Lenz, I decided to put in my uh, 11 of the weekend. And Monaco, Nico Kovac, he's got to maybe step up a little bit. That's very, very scary to see, considering they do have plenty of talent to be able to beat a team like Lenz this season. Uh, and then uh, Sait- Etienne, you know, tying uh, Lille there. Leo maybe not doing so well. I know Darius tipped that maybe to have a big fall from form, so let's keep an eye on that. Leon against Claremont Fou. Claremont Fou, again, you know, this was the game that we highlighted in the weekend watch list. Uh, honestly, what a what a great game. What a great game. Uh, what's his name? Uh, El Shabani. Uh, uh, but I believe, yeah, whoever I tipped uh, as the... Uh, uh, let's, let's just click on it quickly. Yeah. Elbasan Rashani just came in off the bench uh, as a left winger to just come into the game and, and tie the game. They were down 3 1, and he came in in the second half and was able to tie it 3 3 against Leon. Leon, now I do believe we will look at the table later, but are not doing very well. Montpellier and, Le- and Lorient, uh, Montpellier winning there. Uh, but yeah, let's, I mean, Mets, maybe we can just take a quick look at Mets, you know, because I do know uh, for the, uh, the Spurs fans that. Um, there's a certain player right here, uh, Pape Meyer Sar, uh, did have a decent game according to stats as well. He did get a yellow card. I always like to see a good yellow there, uh, but they tied 1 1 with Rems, which you might say is not maybe a great result uh, for Mets, uh, considering they're more of a kind of a mid table side than Liga, I do believe. Uh, nice and Marseille had that. I don't even know what to, I, I can't speak on it really, what happened uh, at the Nice game. Uh, Dimitri Payet. Uh, seemed to have an altercation with the fans, uh, and then the Nice crowd just seemed to storm um, uh, the, the 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 field. I'm not even sure what happened. Maybe it was, uh, you know, maybe there was some some racial uh, slurs that were thrown from the fans towards Payet. I, but then that probably maybe that didn't occur. I'm just not sure. I'm really not sure. I'll look into that though. So maybe I do apologize for maybe a spreading rumor that might not be true. But uh, it was, you know, what is true is that the Nice fans stormed. Uh, the crowd and Dimitri Pirate seemed to be upset by something that the the Nice fan said to him. Uh, but Ren's and uh, Nantes there. Uh, Ren finishing uh, uh, one nil above Nantes, a team that I actually felt like you know could actually perform quite well this season, but maybe might not uh, might not do so. So I will be a bit disappointed considering I put them quite high uh, up the table. But this is the table looking at it now. On Jared, one of the teams that I put in the weekend watch list did draw so that is a bit unfortunate they did drop points there uh but claremont Fou and Anger still maybe sticking strong you might say maybe especially claremont Fou, uh who again had that unbelievable uh you know a comeback to be able to to tie 3-3 uh marseille maybe their game after their game uh, resumes maybe they'll be able to claw back some points but maybe the real story here is Lille and leon you know, two maybe powerhouses of Liga not doing so well this season, you know, really, really not doing well, especially Monaco as well with Nico Kovac. You know, you consider all the talent that exists in these squads really not doing well this season. But let's move on maybe to the Syria. Um, in the Syria, we will uh, see since uh, the Syria did just kick off this weekend, um, first weekend, whereas uh, the Liga was in their third weekend. Uh, to go into this, you know, uh, just seem like a Spezia and uh, a Cagliari yet to play. And uh, there is a big game for sure with Sampdoria and Milan. Uh, but Napoli uh, did win 2-0. Uh, Luciano Spalletti uh, winning 2-0 in his first game was always good to see. Jose beating Fiorentina 3-1 in that game. That was my tip for uh, the weekend uh, watch list. Nikola Milankovic, you know, a player heavily rumored with uh, Spurs, did, uh, did score, I do believe, with a header. Uh, and then uh, Henrik Mkhitaryan and uh, Jordan Verich, who 
uh, the Frenchman uh, having a very good game under uh, Jose. I wasn't able to catch the majority of this game. I've only seen the highlights, so I will say, uh, you know, we were just very busy considering the Spurs game uh, that was on Sunday, but definitely want to check that out to see how Jose's team did. But Juventus and Udinese, Massimiliano Allegri not starting off strong. Uh, I will say, you know, Dybala had an unbelievable goal to begin with, uh, but then it just seemed like Udinese were just continuing to threaten, continuing to come back into the game. Uh, they had plenty of moments where they should have probably equalized, but once uh, Juventus went 2-0 up, it seemed like Juventus had, you know, uh, the game, you know, for theirs to win, but that Udinese made an unbelievable comeback. Uh, and then uh, with the substitution of Gerard uh, Delefeu, uh, the player that we know from Watford, the Spanish player, and also Barcelona, of course. He had an unbelievable impact into the game. And then at one point, he pressured uh, Wolchek Chesney uh, to, to make a bad pass. And then from there, they somehow took it and were able to just pass it and uh, shoot it into an empty net with uh, Delefeu. So not a strong start to, to Allegri. And I will say I'm a bit disappointed because uh, I do expect uh, Juventus to still win the title this year. So the Serie A, I will say I would tip to be a very, very exciting league this season. And big ups to, uh, to Udinese. Uh, but Atalanta, the hipster team, winning 2-1 over Torino. Lazio, 3-1 over uh, Empoli. Sorry, ball is well underway, I do believe. And uh, that is the one thing I spoke about with uh, Darius and our um, uh, predicting the top six is, you know, uh, I think he seemed to have for- forgotten that, you know, Sorry is back in the Serie A, you know, and will be uh, instituting it, or, or, you know, just bringing back you know, that beautiful, beautiful football of his that uh, he must have uh, learned during his times as a bank teller, you know, just studying up. Uh, but Inter Milan and, and, and Genoa. Inter starting up very strong um, with uh, Simone and Zaghi's side winning 4-0 over Genoa. Uh, I do believe Skriniar opened uh, the game with the header uh, to uh, to start it off, I believe, well into the, uh, like, a, it was like fourth minute or something that he was able to to start the game off. So, Syria starting strong. Syria starting off very interesting. Uh, but let's go into the Bundesliga here. And the Bundesliga uh, was a bit of an exciting weekend, I would say. Uh, was a bit disappointing considering that Erta Berlin did lose to Wolfsburg. But I thought we did fight strong. You know, Jovetic, you know, came on, had a bit of an impact. Uh, Bayern winning 3 2, uh, had a, a spectacular game uh, considering that, you know, they did have to uh, withstand, you know, a, a, a Cologne equalizer. And then uh, Gnabry uh, had to pretty much take over and uh, take it from there. Uh, Union Berlin starting off with two, you know, important draws, you might say, where they uh, drew against Hoffenheim here, but they also drew against a uh, who was it before uh, Leverkusen as well. So you do have to consider maybe Union Berlin doing quite well this season. Uh, they're definitely, you know, I would say a much better run club than Erta Berlin, despite you know Erta Berlin having all the reasons to be a better club. It's been in the Bundesliga longer you know, uh, much more of a capitalist kind of club, uh, whereas in, in Berlin, you know, is just much smaller for a reason and seems to still be running themselves better. Uh, Leverkusen winning 4-0 over Mönchengladbach. Uh, definitely an interesting game there. Haven't been able to catch that, uh, but that definitely was, uh, looks like an absolute uh, beast of a game. I know we did tip it in our uh, weekend football watch list. So again, guys, if you saw any of these games, please, please, please let me know in the comments, you know, what, what they looked like, you know, what, what type of, you know, game style we saw, you know, what type of game it was, was it exciting? Was it a bit, you know, horrendous? Was this a bit, you know, bad defending? Just please let me know in the comments. And then SC Freiburg winning 2-1 over Dortmund. Uh, Roman Salai, uh, the Hungarian, and uh, Vincenzo Grifo, the Italian, Vincenzo Grifo having a fantastic free kick uh, to to open the the scoring for for Fry, for Freiburg, and honestly, really, it was a poor performance by Dortmund. I would say maybe their best performer was Jude Bellingham, which is why I put him in my eleven of the weekend. He really did have that good of a game, uh, but yeah, you know, it really was a bit uh, disappointing from Dortmund. Uh, moving on to Leipzig and Stuttgart, uh, uh, you know, the hipster team uh, Stuttgart not doing so well, considering that they were coming up against Jesse Mars's. Uh, Leipzig, which did not really perform too well in their first w- uh, week, losing 1-0 to Mainz. They had to prove something, and they went 4-0 against Stuttgart. So Stuttgart, very attacking team. They do leave themselves quite open, so I'm not surprised. And honestly, they're probably not too upset about it. Wolfsburg, starting off uh, the campaign with six points, the only team to win two games. Uh, they've only scored three goals, which is a bit interesting, which maybe just highlights the defense, uh, probably thanks to uh, Maxima. 
uh, Lacroix, and then uh, again, Levy Tuber, let me know if I pronounced that correctly, and then maybe Jonathan Brooks as well, you know, the American uh, producing some some good defensive performances. They also have uh, Lucas and Mecca uh, and uh, Riede Baku, the two German talents as well, uh, to lead them. So they have a very good side over there at Wolfsburg, very good talent. Uh, but yeah, Bayern, Leverkusen, Hoffenheim, uh, Freiburg, they're all kind of in that uh, four point range. And, you know, it's really only too early to tell, I would say, but big ups to Wolfsburg, I would say. Uh, let's move on to the Premier League simply because La Liga was a bit uninteresting. Well, the Premier League, I thought, was a bit interesting. Chelsea against Arsenal, 2-0. We think we all saw plenty of that. Lukaku absolutely dominating the scum. Uh, unbelievable performance from Lukaku. Really is going to be very dangerous. The Spurs getting the 1-0 uh, win over Wolves uh, away at the Molyneux. Getting another clean sheet. Who wouldn't love that? Uh, Southampton having a very strong defensive performance against Man United. Man United maybe not taking their chances and also maybe not showing very much going forward. I will say, you know, that is the thing with Schulzgar. Uh, he does seem to have a uh, struggle against the smaller sides uh, in certain games and then uh, seems to be able to be decent against the bigger sides, but does seem against the smaller sides. It's just they're not tactically intelligent enough to be able to break these uh, maybe stubborn sides down. Uh, and then Brighton against Watford. Brighton, you know, using that very intelligent pressing style. They seem to just not let Wofford uh, have a moment's peace on the ball and basically just give them no moments. Uh, uh, Basuma having that unbelievable tackle in the midfield to take it away and play Mopai in. It really was a good performance by Brighton, I will say. Man City just dominating Norwich. I mean, not much else to say there. Uh, they definitely, especially after the first game, had to prove something. Leeds United and Everton, I've, been, I've really wanted to see this game, but I didn't. I bet it really was an exciting one, so please let me know in the comments. Uh, how that one went. Crystal Palace and Brentford did not look like an exciting game, but Brentford seemed to be a very strong team defensively. I will say they look like a strong team defensively, very well organized. So maybe that is a good uh, tip to to stay in the Premier League, just to stay up. You have to be strong defensively. And Aston Villa uh, winning 2-0 over Newcastle. Newcastle definitely, maybe this could be the season where they do go down, despite how brilliant St. Maximon has looked uh, and how uh, efficient he is up top and just creating things. Maybe this is actually finally the season where Newcastle would go down. But finally, let's move on to La Liga. Uh, La Liga, and I would say a bit of an unexciting weekend apart from maybe uh, the games uh, with uh, Real Madrid and uh, Barcelona. I mean, the the Barcelona game was, you know, I would say not the most exciting game. It just was a bit of a dead affair between the two, but it was a very good performance from Athletic, uh, very good performance from from the Bosque uh, team. Uh, and then uh, Marcelino maybe also maybe having a good performance against a bigger side that could give him more reason to keep his job. It did tip him uh, to be sacked this upcoming season. So, I mean, honestly, credit to Marcelino. Good, strong performance. I do believe is in Nigo Martinez, who had the, uh, the I think it might have been a header to, to equalize against Barcelona. So credit to them. And then uh, Levante uh, and also Depay had an unbelievable finish, I will say, in that game, if I remember correctly. Levante and Real Madrid, there was a red card at the end of the game where Vinicius uh, was about to uh, get the the fourth goal uh, and get his hat trick. But the Levante goalkeeper came out of his net and was well past uh, his 18, uh, almost into the the other half and uh, saved it with his hands from a Vinicius touch, trying to touch it around him. Uh, pretty, pretty, pretty horrible play by the goalkeeper, but he did everything he could, you know, in order to get the one point for his team. Honestly, fair play to him, I will say. Venetia's having two pretty spectacular goals and spectacular finishes that you don't really see every day. So I would check out that game. You know, a lot of the finishes he had were, you know, quite unorthodox, I would say. I'd like to go Madrid with a 1 0 win over Elche. Uh, that's going to be probably a lot of similar performances we'll be seeing to that all season. Real Sociedad with the 1 0 win. Uh, but yeah, just a lot of just one goal affairs uh, in, in La Liga. So not much else to say uh, in terms of that. Uh, but do thank you, everybody, uh, uh, for uh, tuning in for this one. Just let me 
you know, maybe run down some of the leagues and I was a bit busy. So I wasn't able to catch all the games for, you know, my weekend watch list, but please let me know in the comments below, which ones you guys saw. Uh, I would really appreciate it. You know, it's good to know from, you know, my scouts, my fellow flat cappers, you know, which games you guys were able to catch and uh, not nice to know which players you guys think I should, you know, maybe keep an eye, an eye out for. Uh, but yeah, well, lots happened this past weekend and I do hope that, you know, maybe the likes of, uh, maybe Bill Bow, you know, maybe can uh, maybe continue this run of form against, you know, a very strong Barcelona, I will say. And I do hope maybe the likes of maybe Olympique Lyon and Lille do recover because they look like they're doing quite awful. And as well as Monaco do look like they're doing quite awful, but could only make for, you know, maybe a lot newer teams and Liga maybe having a better season and uh, maybe only making it easier for the likes of Messi and crew now over there. Uh, but thanks for watching this week's uh weekend week uh this week's weekend uh review and uh to and big wish of luck to all the teams mentioned earlier and uh yeah this was the weekend review for all of europe's top five league matches uh, i do hope that you stay tuned for the next one please subscribe if you're new hit that bell to never miss another video like this one or any of the other videos that will be in these week playlists and uh to everyone i'll be seeing you